Hey guys, Rob Arino here with RedBaronRC.com. This is a video blog on uh, construction of the models on that website. This one having to do with Cura settings for lightweight PLA, thin wall construction. Um, this is an explanation of my preferences that I use to get these uh, components to print very cleanly. So uh, we're going to go through here. This is the printer settings over here on the right. I have a right hand upper wing tip of uh, the Pitts biplane from the website and we're going to go through here and set up the settings for thin wall. First off, quality. The only thing I'm going to show you here is that I set the layer height to 0.28. Um, if we go to walls, what I want you to have modified here, obviously there's going to be a wall line count of just one. That's kind of the point, but it, this is actually going to be taken from somewhere else. I want to come down here and talk about Z seam alignment, and I prefer to set it to user specified. And I also prefer, just it's my habit, to set it to right. And I don't have a preference on Z seam alignment. I don't try to hide it or anything. With this setting, what's going to happen when you slice this is that every single time the print head runs it's going to start in the exact same place and that's indicated here by this solid white line with lightweight PLA you really don't want the print head to, to retract and travel because the foaming nature of the material makes it ooze every single time it does this so I always try to keep it in the exact same place let's go down to um, infill. Infill, absolutely, it's not an issue because of another setting that we're going to use, so there really won't be any material because it's lightweight PLA. I found that my settings that work best are for my machine are 240 degrees, and my build plate temperature I leave at 65 degrees, and my initial build plate temperature I put to 70. Now here's the really important one. Because this stuff foams, the way you, that these are lighter is that you dial back the flow of the lightweight material. In my case, I like 65%. There are people that have dropped it down to 60, but um, you can play around with the temperature setting and with the flow rate until you get the cleanest print you find for your machine. Uh, speed. Well, for a Ender 3 Pro, sorry. Um, I kind of keep the stock speed at 50. Obviously the, the point of this is slower printing speed lends to uh, prettier prints. I do have a highly up modified machine that I bump this up to 80 or more, but as a stand standard rule this works fairly well and with thin wall construction they kind of print fairly fast anyway. Cooling. Not super important, but um, I do have it on. Uh, I've, I've printed it both ways, it doesn't seem to matter. Supports, also not super important. If a print needs to have a support, often I will have it modeled into the software. But on occasion, if you need it, that's how you would turn that on. Build plate adhesion. For thin wall construction, I like to use brim. And I don't need a huge brim, so I, I dial it back down to about four. And here's the big one. Uh, we're going to go down to special modes and instead of it being set to normal we're going to set to surface and what surface does if you come back here and look at this model this was a solid model when it was uh, shown on the build plate and now it's simply doing a very thin wall shell of it the way these are designed you'll see if I animate the print head that it does a nice clean single pass around the entire profile and it doesn't have to lift up and it doesn't have to retract and that's how you get a super clean beautiful print anyway that's the the print settings for lightweight PLA thin wall once you get this dialed in you can come up here at the top and choose create profile from current settings or overrides and then you name it what you want in my case lightweight PLA thin wall and that will be listed under the print settings on each of the blogs that use that setting on my website. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more just like it.